So just got back from work. It's eight o'clock. There's a little bit of dal in the fridge. We need something hot, spicy, a little chatpata, potato fry. Once you cut the potatoes, it takes about three minutes and it's also dedicated to one of our friends who's try, trying out being vegetarian for two weeks. Uh, it has about five or six ingredients. You can just look at it as you keep going along. Um, the key, as you see here, is potatoes diced into even size. I've uh, washed it thoroughly in cold water and warm water and drained it. There should be no moisture. If not, you will not get it crispy. All right, that is step number one. Step number two, heat the pan. Put oil enough to cover the bottom of the pan. It has to be a little oily, but you're not deep frying the potatoes, see? Enough to cover. Now, give this about a couple of minutes to heat up. First things first, first things first, the oil's heated up. Yep, I can feel the heat. Add mustard seeds and cumin. Watch them beautifully sputter. Excellent. Once they add, have that, they flavored the oil. Immediately, see there's no ginger, no garlic. Add the potatoes, right away, immediately. All right, once you do that, start stirring them. I can smell the potatoes and the cumin that's flavored with the potatoes. And then start frying them. And fry them for a couple of minutes until you start to see crust formation or what we like to call in culinary school crustification. Keep stirring regularly and look for some caramelization and see that there is even browning so that when you stir you know. And remember this, potatoes. One beautiful thing about potatoes is if you cut them evenly, the more evenly you cut them the more better they will turn out. And I've decided to try and make it a habit to run a competition so if you I would actually know if you actually watch the recipe and you listen to what I say I have another question if you answer it there's a cute small little prize the question is which is the number one herb that goes well with potato and which is the number one powdered masala that um, which are name at least two powdered masalas that potatoes go extremely well with now if your answer coincides with what I have in mind uh, and then I will then comment on this video and share it with a couple of people in your list um, that do not follow me and I will pick a winner and I will announce it in the comments or I will direct message you directly. Sorry, quick update about the contest. I will pick the first person that is right. Sorry, I just want to clarify that. Now, first person whose answers match with what I had in mind and you get to win something from Dr. Foodie. Now, <clears throat> one no notice one thing, I've not added salt. When you see some caramelization and beginning of some browning on the side, uh, please add a couple of uh, chopped up green chilies. Again, a great combination and uh, a few curry leaves. Now, a big question I always get is quantities. I've taken roughly about two big potatoes and that's roughly 600 grams and to that I've added oil enough to cover the pan. Now, these are about two strands of curry leaves and two big green chilies chopped. That's all I've added for now. And one tablespoon each of cumin and coriander and uh, mustard seeds. There you go, that's the quantity. One tablespoon each, not too much. Now let them cook a little more with these flavors kind of getting infused into the oil and into the potato. See how golden and beautiful the potatoes are coming along. I've gently on medium to low or medium medium flame gently sauteed them let them slowly cook uh, if you or your potatoes are too big here's a little tip or a trick for you quickly put um, a lid and kind of cook them on on a closed flame for about three four minutes that's about it you can slowly see the golden um, crustification that I spoke about but this is simple folks it has about seven or eight ingredients takes about five minutes to pre-prep but takes about half an hour to cook because you know you're not pre-boiling the potatoes if you want to be a lazy chef which is okay sometimes as well quickly microwave the potatoes for about three four minutes and then drain them completely of water and pat them dry with paper towels as you can see I've used a lot of paper towel here to pat them dry and um, there's no moisture uh, slowly cook the potatoes potatoes are about 20 30 kinds folks 
The ones that work the best for these recipe are low starch ones. Not yet, uh, red potatoes don't work. Uh, neither will uh, completely yellow potatoes sometimes. The, the waxy ones don't work. Um, the starchy ones do, but you have to wash the starch away. So this can also be served as a quick evening snack. You can add, uh, you know, sliced onions, uh, lime juice, chaat masala, and make this a quick bujia snack as well in the evening. Uh, if you want to eat something, you know, crispy and healthy and not completely deep fried. Notice how I've not put any salt. Salt is one thing I would prefer to add at the end, but now the holy trinity of powdered masalas in an Indian kitchen. I've told you this. Turmeric, a pinch, like a little, a half a, a half a teaspoon, one, te one teaspoon of coriander powder or dhania powder, roasted dhania powder. We already added cumin in there, and one and a half teaspoons of red chili powder. The better the quality of your red chili powder, the better the taste of the dish. And I'm gonna add them now. There you go. And we'll neatly stir them up. You can reduce the quantity of oil, I added a tad bit more. You could uh, go a little easy on the oil. I'll let this little spice mix coat all the potatoes and let it just kind of fry in the juice, juiciness of the potatoes a little bit. A pinch of salt here, this is roughly one uh, teaspoon. I'm gonna add it, the higher you add it from, the more area it can cover, so I'm gonna add it from here. Remember with salt, you can always um, add more. It's very difficult to take away, so I'd rather you add low and then taste and adjust at the complete, complete end. Okay. So you go to any fancy restaurant for brunch, they give you potatoes bravas. This is the South Indian um, version called potato balasubramanyu. Oh, that's a funny name that I came up with. Sprinkle some chaat masala, okay, and a sprig of lime and potato, and a potato fry. Ready to enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>